Hi, we're out here again at a undisclosed location. We're um, got the fire going, got some charcoal, a little bit of charcoal in there as well. Gonna uh, grill up a couple burgers real quick. Um, hopefully they come out pretty good. Put some uh, Worcestershire and some Everglades on them. And uh, it should be pretty jam up. Probably gonna make some mashed potatoes as well. And uh, chow down. And then um, we'll, uh, so we got here kind of late. The, uh, it was, it was dark. We were having a little trouble finding a good spot. And then uh, we found this one, got this fire going. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys, I guess, a little bit later. Maybe take a look at the burgers when they're done. Uh, you can't really see it at all. But this is the dam. Only dam I know of in Florida. It's pretty wild. I can't see anything. Uh, I did forget. Hopefully you can hear me. I did forget to film the uh, burgers. We had bacon cheeseburgers, and they're pretty phenomenal actually. They're really good. Uh, but made up that quick fire, grilled up the burgers on some foil and some bacon, lettuce, tomato, and all that. And they're pretty good. We'll catch up with y'all in a bit. So here's the other side of the dam, the high side. You can see all the wood. I don't know if you can see it, but this is all wood right here. Just all like river, uh, you know, washed wood. And then out there is all lily pads. It's pretty hard to see, I guess, but it's uh, pretty wild. So I don't know how well you can see it, but there's, uh, I'm set up here in the car. In the back seat and I have uh, just a blanket seats laid down and uh, wanted up made a makeshift pillow for there put the cooler to the side it's just long enough to fit been wanting to do this for a while in this car just to see it's a little bit cramped if I took this cooler out it'd make a big difference but I just don't um, really want to put it out anyway I'll catch up with you guys in a bit So, so here we are in the parking lot here. We just uh, just got up. I went to the bathroom a little bit ago, but got up uh, for good now. And there's a trail in the woods. So whatever was walking around the car, it looked like it was up on two legs, like a human. But whatever it was come out of this trail and went down into the woods somewhere. I don't know definitely not going to be staying here again tonight though that's for sure there's a tiny little turtle I mean this thing's like I don't know maybe like three inches long tiny little guy I guess I'll get him out of the road so he didn't get smashed so we just put in over there kayaking the kayaks we're headed out this way and then uh sorry i'm trying to paddle and uh film at the same time we're headed out this way 
and then I don't know if we're gonna go straight across over there or we're probably gonna go down there down the river uh, I forget what river this is called like the Oklawaha or something um, I'll I'll put it in there what river it is but there's a dam over to the right I'll show you that in a minute there's a shot of the dam you can see it it's like four locks wide or whatever four sections it's pretty uh, pretty big it's the only dam I know of in Florida it's a pretty big deal for Florida here's down river uh, we're probably not gonna go that too too far because there is a current and of course you got to paddle back against it we're going with it now so it's a good bit of boats out here it's probably about eight or ten boats at least it's not a very big area so we'll catch up with y'all in a bit this is a cool area trees are laid down Got a lot of weathered trees Big old stump right there. Got two little turtles on that stump there. It's pretty cool. There's a good shot of the dam from a distance. It's a pretty good size. It's pretty impressive for Florida. I mean, as far as dam go, dams go, I know it's pretty small. Here's a. Uh, I think it's like a sandhill crane or something. I'm not sure. Some kind of bird that eats all the little fish and stuff on the shore. It's pretty cool. Here's a closer up shot of the uh, dam. You know, I thought this thing was going to be like maybe 15 feet high. It's like 40 feet. It's pretty, pretty big for Florida. Just amazing to me with how flat Florida is that they have a dam. But anyway, there's another shot. I'll get more shots later. I don't know if you can see the water coming out. I'm pretty close. That barrier there is as close as you can go. Um, but I don't know if you can see the water coming out. It's awfully dirty. It's uh, straight swamp water on the other side uh, good old Florida Blackwater here's the here's the lake side here actually you can see there's a boat out there but uh, here's all the wood I was talking about look at all this weathered wood actually there's another boat all this weathered wood be nice to grab a bunch of this you can make some really cool stuff out of it but it, you're not allowed to to grab it it's quite a bit of a lot of lily pads I'm sure there's a ton of game so the battery died earlier uh, I know it's getting a little bit dark here but um this is the rest of the uh, kind of pick up where I left off but um, yeah there's a lot of good uh, weathered wood here but uh, as you can see the lake is quite large but the dam of course is only this one little section lakes pretty big and then I believe like that over there I believe is the canal that cuts over to the St. John's River But if you look over here, you can see that the water is pretty much pretty high on this side as opposed to the other side. I guess it's almost to the top here. And as you can see, there's so here's another angle from on top of the bridge down that's the second so there's two there's like a three like wall thing that kind of keeps up most of the wood and all that out 
then there's the actual door or whatever gate I think they call it down here that they can move up and down and as you can see they can move it quite high they can go all the way up and they want to go all the way up and then here again is another look at the uh, other side So you can see there's the gate, and so it was like all the way up almost to the very top of that gate. Probably about that, I don't know if you can see the, the rivets in there, or the uh, channel pieces, but probably like all the way up to there, like I don't know, 18 inches from the top maybe, something like that. It was pretty high, holding back a lot. I don't know if they open it more, or not, or if they pretty much always leave it like this. But, this is how it is. A lot of foam going all the way down the creek. There, and that's the Oklawaha River. And I believe on the other side of the dam is Oklawaha Lake. All right, so we're making dinner over here. We got steak and potatoes. Dustin's doing a potato right here. About to wrap this baby in foil and put it right on the fire. It's gonna be delicious. We got steaks over here. Dustin's got one under there, and I got mine over here. And he's about to do another potato. And then here's the steaks. You just season them, roll them up in uh, foil. Marinated them in some Worcestershire. And then we got uh, Everglades there, some black pepper, a little bit of campfire seasoning, a little bit of uh, steak seasoning, Montreal steak seasoning. This is gonna be amazing. We'll let y'all see it when we get it done. So here's the potatoes. Of course, they're gonna take longer to cook, so they're on here. Uh, we did use charcoal. There's not a lot of really wood around here, and we didn't want to bring wood. Uh, kind of picked over. So here's some um, potatoes. <clears throat> we'll put the steaks on over here in a little bit. So here's the final product. We got a ribeye here and a. Um, potato with butter and Everglades. It's pretty daggum good. I'm about to tear into it. So it's Sunday, the last morning, and i um, showing you the bed setup. I just put a blanket down, folded the seats down, sleep at a little bit of an angle, and then I got that pad there uh, for my hips and stuff. It really helps because it's just fairly hard. It makes a big difference, and then I just took a couple hoodies and bought, uh, wadded them up up there as a pillow put the cooler on this side and um, put the box in the front seat uh, I had a box of like camping gear in the front seat but I ended up not using hardly any of it and uh, put my wet shoes right here I guess you can't see them um, that's pretty much it Gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I'm about to head out. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and watching. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming along. So here come the uh, coots, I think they are. Come flying in. I've been seeing groups of them. They kind of go over, loop around. And they uh, hang on that. I don't know if you can see it. There's a line there. They hang on that line. There's a couple more over there. And then they swim up next to the dam and catch fish. They fly up next to the dam, catch some fish, and then float back and then hang out on the line to, I guess, dry out and catch their breath. So they're getting an early start. Morning time, they're getting going.